<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, the DJ. I want to say good morning to all my Facebook subscribers, all my YouTube subscribers. Um, I hope you guys go out making a wonderful day. Um, and I thought I'd send y'all out on a good note. Y'all know sometimes I just have hell in me. And, um, I, you know, I just have to keep it real. It's really harmless type of hell. But it's hell nevertheless. And, um, one of my friends reminded me of, um, a stunt that I pulled <laughs> about 10 years ago. And to me, it still remains hilarious. It might not be funny to you, but I thought I'd just share it. Because they have finally forgiven me for this stunt that I've totally forgotten about. And, um, you know, hell, I didn't mean no. I just, I, I didn't mean no harm, y'all. I just thought it was funny. But anyway, let me explain to you. There's a person that's always, um, asking for a ride always i mean and it's not like this individual hasn't had the resources or the money um to even get a car and drive if that's what they um want to do but this individual in my opinion and a lot of other pe people's opinion was basically asking for a ride because it costs too much money to drive okay well I'm sure a lot of us feel the same way you know you have to get tags you got to get license you have to get parking permits you have to get whatever else especially uh, living where I live because you know they they pretty much penalize you if you don't have a, a driveway or um, a garage so it can be very expensive driving in um, in the town that I live in, Milwaukee. So, but so this individual has already made up their mind that they never want to put themselves in a position where they want to buy a vehicle. Now, when they get into, you would think that a person when they get into the car with you would be content, and since they don't have a ride, well, you would you would feel that this person certainly wouldn't get in the car and start telling you how to go which way to go how to go you're going too fast you go okay see I, I I don't have a lot of patience for that and I'm just gonna admit to y'all okay so what I did this particular day is we were all at my youngest brother's graduation and um, she got there on the bus obviously and because remember she hates to um, drive. It's only certain people that uh, give her rides because, again, she's always bossing them around, telling them how to go, and yada yada yada. So, after the graduation, no, there there was a a dinner first, a ceremony first, and from the ceremony we were going to go to have dinner on everybody. So what I did, which was horrible, in her opinion, to me is still relatively funny. And I don't know how many of y'all are old enough to remember Mr. Magoo and that cartoon and how that man would drive through the city. Okay, well, I know somebody that drives just like that. And um, each stoplight, you, you going, whew, because as soon as he passes or on the uh, she passes on the green light or you know she'll run the red light and just just miss somebody's car I mean it's actually not funny I guess not looking back on it well I put her in the car with Mrs. this is called her Mrs. Magoo <laughs> this is horrible oh, y'all forgive me so by the time she never asked me again can I get 
her a ride or figure out how to get a ride because when she asked said she didn't have a ride to get to the dinner place I let her ride I said oh Miss Magoo got plenty space and common sense should have made her look a little strange when Miss Magoo had a big station wagon but no one was riding with Miss Magoo okay but of course she wanted to ride by any means necessary so she got into the vehicle Mrs. Magoo well needless to say by the time we all met up at the restaurant to eat this person in question her face was totally ashen her mouth was totally white her eyes were popped out as if somebody pulled them back out of her head and then when she and when so I when she got out of the car she she looked at me and I was like oh y'all made it huh and she looked at me <laughs> And the words that came out of her mouth was, He tried to kill me. He tried to kill me, didn't he? Oh my God. And we laughed about it. I mean, the reason, I mean, we, not then, but as she was telling me the story, we began to laugh about it, laugh about it. Now, I totally forgot about that, but. That to me was just totally indicative of what some people will do if you constantly, constantly, constantly asking for a ride, constantly, constantly, constantly not thinking it's your responsibility to get where you need to go. Well, now they got Uber, so <laughs> but the moral of the story is. Don't be asking everybody all the time can you give you a ride because you might end up with Miss Magoo going through the city in a 90 miles an hour in a 30 mile an hour zone. All right. All right, y'all. Like what you hear. Please like, subscribe, and share. I'm going to be back a little later. I just thought I'd share that with y'all today. All right. Be blessed. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.